Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Don and uh, welcome back. You're watching VR Gamer Dude and today we're going to be taking a look at an upcoming game. So this is not something that you're going to be able to play just yet. This is, this is a, an early look at an alpha for a game that comes out next year called Hubris. And I want to thank Cyborn for sending over an early key for this one. Now, truth be told, they send it over for Oculus, but because this game is so graphically stunning in VR, obviously I had to see if it's going to work in my Pimax 8KX. And I gotta say, it worked with Revive, a little glitchy, eh, through the Oculus uh, emulation in the Pi Tool software, it seems to be working pretty good in the 8KX. So I can't wait to jump back in there and, and see more of the game in ultra wide field of view and high resolution. And I can't wait to take you guys with me as usual. So let's go. Whoa! When worlds collide. Very cool. Oh, wow. Good morning, recruit. I'm Lucia, the pilot of this Triple O ship. Uh, well, hello, Before Lucia. Before I unlock your sleeping cabin, I'm going to give you a short update. We have just left light speed to enter the twin planet system. Still several hours away. I think from they, your they hit each other. Oh, hey, girl. Galactic Harbor on the Pillar Planet, where you. Let me check your data. Um, we'll continue okay. your training to become an agent of the Order of Objectivity. Oh, well, okay, very me, cool. Well, there are worse places to be trained than the capital of temptation. Well, that sounds anyway, awesome. I'm going to unlock your cabin now. Oh, thank you. Before you rush out, be aware you have been asleep for nine days, so movement can feel strange for a while. Um, it, you know, it always does, uh, especially when it's a mix of very, very nice, smooth locomotion and snap turning. And once again, you know, I'm not going to get onto the devs on this one yet because this is a very, very early prototype of this game. But man, I, I looked in the menu, there is no way to turn that off, Attention. and that really kind of bums me out because I ship. hate snap message coming up so all right let's see who oh oh hey dude um it's lex luther sweet triple o members aboard transport vessel mog 309 oh wow okay you what you said the emergency call from a dwarf planet which your ship is passing by at this very moment that is so cool due to the fact that none of my agents are close by i'm reaching out for you Oh, no, no. It, it's like uh, turning to face me. That is so weird. To go down and check it out. Check it out. Officer Lucia, start landing procedures immediately. Troopers, once landed on the planet, go and search for Special Agent Sayana. Alright, you got it, bro. We lost all contact since you sent a message from one of the drones, so she may be wounded. You never know. If she is alive, do whatever you can to help her finish what she started. Now, in the name of the order of objectivity, go and succeed. It's kind of sounding a little culty, bro. So I, I, I don't know. Troopers, you heard the commander. Forget about the pleasure domes on the pillar what, planet. Wait, what? We have a mission to attend to. No, oh, now, wait We're a minute. I was told there was going to be pleasure domes. Yeah. This is a bait and switch. I'm just saying that y'all are starting to really, like, I, I'm just, I don't know anymore. I, I mean, when I signed up, when that guy at the mall said, hey, you know, you could change your life, you know, just join up and stuff, the, the, the object of order of objectivity what? and what, what oh, the wow. hell, bro? Hey. Oh, oh we got to do the Star Trek shake. You know, I got a comment. I, I just put these DMAS speakers on my Pimax 8KX, and while they do lack a little bass, I love that off-ear oh, headphone style. Follow me. I can use some help. 
Yeah, well, that's so, so nice that I'm still alive. Yeah. Okay, so obviously Alpha, once again, but voice acting definitely needs some work. Um, I am available, um, Cyborn, you know, um, I do a little you bit of voice acting. You see those batteries over there? Take one and put it in your backpack. Why, yes. Yes, I will. Man, the swimming action is good. Good. Now follow me outside. All right, let's do it. Whoa! Oh, wow, this is like being in the Windows 98 aquarium screensaver. Oh, wow, the graphics are nuts. So, like I said, you know, I played a little bit of this last night, and this is about where I stopped because I wanted to see if it would work in this headset for just the fine detail of everything. And man, oh how I am so glad this is working Come on, like this. It's an order. No, you hold on. I am I am being wowed right now. I mean, oh, this just looks incredible. So not knocking my not knocking my quest using Link. It, it was great, but wow, you have never seen anything until you have Come played in, a, in an 8KX or one of the newer. Hi, Rose. I'd love to get a look at the Varjo Arrow. People keep asking me, you know, am I gonna, am I gonna get one? Eh, well, no, of course not. I mean, not unless, just like everybody else, Varjo is very, very, very kind and wants to send me a demo unit. Listen carefully. Um, you see that recon drone over there on top of that rock? Yeah. I tried to reactivate it, but the battery is wasted. So if you can climb out of the water and put a new battery in, then I can re-enter the ship and try to connect to the drone from there. Okay, we got you. Uh, I'm right here. But anyway, so yeah, yeah, last I'll say on that, you know, obviously no. I But, I, you know, I, I gotta say, right now, I am still loving this headset for, for just about everything that I do, especially my sim stuff. But now, man... Seeing Come something on. this Take the battery smooth out and of polished and put it in, in an drone. alpha state. This that's what I, I can't stress that enough Climb that this is literally early, early, early in. for this game. You know, I will put the battery in when I am damn well ready to put the battery in, Liv. Oh, sorry, wrong game. Alright. Great, you did it. Yes, I My did. Turn now. Okay, cool. What are you gonna do? Are you going to swim back in the ship? I mean, has it come to this? Or are you going to just, like, leave me now? Yes, it Whoa, works. hey, now. I can control the drone remotely now. Whoa, that's good. While I'm glad for you. Those two troopers already left the ship and went looking for the spaceport. I suggest you follow them. If okay. I must. I'll lead the way. Okay. Go. Recruit. Follow me. All right, show me. I mean, Sh the show drone. me where to go. Avoid swimming in the water as much as possible. I tried blasting these squids, but my energy blasters seem to have no effect on these species. Oh, great. Best to avoid them for now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to mess with the squids. Squid bad. Unless it's on a plate. Not very good. All right. So, you know. <clears throat> you probably wonder why we ended up in the water. Well, I was right, flying well, I was gonna towards tell them the spaceport some other stuff, when a little right, ship we'll took off without here. warning and flew straight towards us. So just before landing, I had to change course and not crash into them. And here we are. Well, good. I'm glad you, you know you got us down here. Is not severely damaged. So while you and the troopers are looking for Cyana, I'll try to pump out the water and get the ship going again. Good, ha ha. Let's You're hope so the terraformers don't wake up before I finish the job, so I can pick you all up. That sounds great. Okay. Assuming you find Agent Cyana and she's alive. Well, you know, yeah, I, you know, I have every confidence that that we're gonna do that. So, okay. So what I was getting at is, is that you know, once again, I love the climbing action in this game. It it actually feels really good already. Uh, you know, definitely uh, a lot looser than say something like the climb, um, with you know the ability to thrust yourself very, very far up in the air uh, but man I love it when 
this mechanic is added to VR games because it really does become another one of those really immersive things where you get kind of weak in the knees and it, I, I don't know. It's it's just it, this mirrors. I mean, there are just little things that developers can add to their titles that really really push it over the top and start to build that sense of I'm in the world and there's some impending danger and having to climb on a, on a very photorealistic rock face like this over photorealistic looking kind of terrain like this it, it definitely amps up that sense of immersion I, I, I just I just had to say that this is nuts That cable is clearly made from some organic substance. Can I tightrope walk it? No. Okay. Oh, can it can hold it. you. Yep. Yes, it's it can. How it can be so strong. You know what? Uh, well, what are you trying to call it? Are you saying water? I'm fat? I mean, I know I'm fat. That's why we are going to be kicking off that uh, fitness series again here real soon, guys. I'm just waiting for Thanksgiving to get over. And then that's my last blast. Scan and, and set. Got a, you know, um, a little surprise maybe on that. That uh, somebody may be joining me again. Um, so um, we're going to see if we can't convince her to do that. Because you guys seem to like it when Stacy joined me last time. So. All right. Enough said. So this is right, as food. far I as I have hit. played Apparently in this game these are hunted for their thus special far. Energy resistant body so fluid. I am going to keep going. Looks like the poachers that were harvesting them abandoned all their gear and left. All right, sweet. More for me. Did y'all leave some soup or stew or something? Or you know, wear this as a hat? No? What's in this cooler? Oh, oh, oh. Well, that looks like a torpedo gun. <laughs> yes, Let's get does. out there and hunt Can some I? squids. No. And bring back some arms. Nice. Okay, so... I wonder what this device is used for. Let's figure this out. Squid arms go in. Something comes out. Alright, so we gotta go get some squids. A hunting we will go. A hunting we will go. Nice. Oh! Oh god, that gate. Oh man, right in the pit of my belly. There you are. There you are, buddy. Boom! Oh, just exploded you. <laughs> nice. Your little buddy too. What? Oh! I love how it sounds like an old Kodak Instamatic camera with the flash charging. I'm really old. Only the old old people will get that reference. But it's true. That's what it sounds like. Got me some squid arms. So, you know, this is also kind of bringing up some some subnautica vibes i mean yeah i'm, I'm starting to get kind of some weird deep subnautica vibes here so very cool all right there we go get that weapon out of the way so oh oh right here yeah oh, get me out of the water all right so there we go now we got us some squid arms let's see what we can make with them okay so we got two squid arms in Oh, what, what do we got here? 
Oh, freaky. <laughs> that is wild. Aha! Oh, wait. No, oh, okay. Let's make some more of those. No. Oh, that is wicked. Okay. This cave is clearly the fastest way to the spaceport. There must be a way to cross this gap. Oh, that's a very large gap. Okay, what's this? Maybe try to oh, connect hey. the rope between these energy panels. If I'm not mistaken, it will become hard. <laughs> Look at that. Climb. Good job. What about throwing it to the other energy panel over there? So, oh, that's wicked. I just brushed against my cord. And that kind of gave me a little burst of presence for a second. I'm not going to push out luck by diving into the water. So, I'm going to look for another way. So, see you on the other side. Okay. See you. Okay, very cool. Let's do some underwater cave exploring here. Oh, whoa! Oh. They shoot! But I score. Haha. -ha. So this gun is feeling much better. I'm not. I'm not having to crane my wrist as much um, to aim it. Maybe it's because it's underwater. I don't know. I know. At this point, I'm not even really reviewing the game anymore. I'm sorry. I'm just playing because I'm really, really enjoying this. Man, that just looks freaking nuts. Um, I do appreciate also the fact that they they did make this these sequences unlimited oxygen. Aha! There we go. I think we've made it out of the cave. Oh, look, see? Little micro burst of presence right there. I literally felt the need to duck. I'm gonna make this. Ah! Alright. Yep. Did I just lose a squid tentacle? Or yeah. Hey, get give me that. Oh man. Okay. All right. So you know, I think this is a good place to go ahead and stop the video, guys. I I don't want to get too long. And at this point, you know, like I said a minute ago, I, I'm not even reviewing anymore. I'm just playing because I am so mesmerized by this game. So I cannot thank the developers enough for giving me an early look at this one and letting me share it with you guys. 
I cannot, if this is the alpha, I cannot wait to see the final, final product. So if you want to learn more about it, I am going to throw a link for the games page down in the description. That way you can wish list it. Um, if you want to learn more about the headset that I'm using, the Pimax 8KX, I am going to put a link for it down in the description. And if you want to save a little money on a purchase of one right now, they've got some great deals going on pre black Friday. Uh, you can also use code V our gamer dude and get some more cash off so hit up that link go check it out you've never seen vr until you've seen it with wide field of view and high resolution it is a game changer but for me that's gonna do it today guys i'll see you in the next one this is don signing off